Hey Broadway world, it's me, Katie Lynch, here to meet the delicious new cast of Waitress the Musical with Eddie Jemison, the original Ogie from Waitress the Movie, and Joey McIntyre from New Kids on the Block, and we are going to get them to dish about their new roles on Broadway. How excited are you to be back on Broadway? Um, very, very thrilled, very thrilled. I have awesome moments walking in New York and a cab goes by and there's waitress on the top of it and you know you kind of pinch yourself and um, and on the and and also I I've, I've done the work and I, I feel like I belong which is a nice place to be as well what's it like revisiting this iconic character that you created and people really truly love well golly uh, thanks for saying that people love the character I do too I love the character too um like when I originally did it, um, I was so in love with Adrian Shelley, and she got to, I got to, you know, do this odd character that she invented, and that was, um, it was like so fun to see the play because I saw it in L.A. at the Pentagius, and see what uh, Jesse Nelson did with the, with the character and with all the characters. It, she actually like was very true to the original, but expanded it. Like there's more cool stuff that. Ogie has like uh, I guess he's into clogging and into revolutionary war reenactments and into I think he only eats white food on Wednesdays there are all these quirks that she gave him that makes it even more the character even more fun can you tell me about your Dr. Pometer he's a good guy you know and and you know sometimes my go-to is is sarcasm which can be really funny but also dangerous at the same time on and off the stage um, but he's not a sarcastic guy so to me he's just uh, he comes from a more innocent good kind personality who's you know ends up in this town and he's uh, he's sort of like how did I get here like this isn't exactly the picture that I thought it was gonna be yeah, doing his best and being a good guy, but like, huh? Like, ugh. And he's, and so there's a little bit of a depression there. You know, he's sort of like, you know, ugh. And then he meets this girl, you know, and she kind of lights him up. My new Ogie is going to be a mixture of, uh, of what I did in the film, I, I suppose, and all the years of experience I've had since then. And also, I think it's informed a lot by Chris Fitzgerald. You know, what he's done with it, he's brought so much joy to it and kind of odd qualities that I'm gonna try. I mean, it's part of the character now. I can't deny that. I can't suddenly go back to the way I did it. And so I have to, it's infused with Chris's spirit now. So I'm gonna try to take the mantle and, and keep it going. And maybe I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna do it. What's it like working with Sarah Bareilles' music? Um, at first, very difficult. You get very angry. It's like the five stages of grieving. Um, but as a, as, a, as a whole, I mean, it's really, it's kind of staggering to, to see how varied everything is. I mean, you have that Sarah Bareilles sound, but I mean, it's all kinds of songs in this, in this show. And it's really, um, I marvel at anybody who can you know, put a score like that together. It's such an odd mix of like singer-songwriter and Broadway. Do you know what I mean? Like, it has that, the sensitivity of a singer-songwriter and the poetry of, of her lyrics are universal but personal and also match to the characters. Like, how she did all those things at once is kind of a, an amazing feat, I think. I, I'm amazed by the music. I think it's great when Broadway gets a show like this that's pop and and cool and current but also you know tied to the great traditions of uh, a real musical uh, on Broadway and she did a f phenomenal job phenomenal job and then then I got to see her perform and and last week and that's crazy I was like whoa I wanted to like <laughs> run out you need to see what's going on in here the world does not know. If you were one of Jenna's pies, what would you be called and why? Uh, blueberry macchino pie. How's that? The blue is for the, for my eyes, and then uh, the macchino. You get dark. There's a darkness there, and then you get the mac in there. I'd be called nervous to be on Broadway. Happy pie. 